Artificial intelligence has continued to take the world by storm over the last year, not only in the mainstream tech landscape, but it has also deeply infiltrated the blockchain and crypto sphere. While there's definitely a ton of nonsense out there when it comes to AI and crypto, there are an emerging set of use cases that look very promising and hold a lot of potential for the future. Because think about it, you know, artificial intelligence is one of the most revolutionary technologies of the last century, and so is crypto. And when you combine the two, the possibilities are absolutely insane. And in today's video, I'm to explain a huge leap forward that just happened in AI crypto and how you can capitalize on this opportunity if you're trying to stay two steps ahead in this space. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory and on this channel I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below and subscribe. And if you want to take advantage of all the insane opportunity that's happening in the blockchain space right now, the absolute best way to do that is to increase your income by becoming a blockchain developer and I can show you how to do that step by step from start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this. Obviously, nothing I'm saying in this video is going to be financial advice. I'm not telling you to buy or sell any cryptocurrency based on this information, but let's talk about this huge leap forward that just happened in AI crypto and how you can take advantage of it. Well, it's all got to do with AI agents. Okay, so what is that? Well, I've covered these a few times on my channel before, but there's some really interesting developments here that you need to pay attention to that happened recently, okay? So first, like what even is an AI agent in the first place? Well, really, it's just an AI that just does something for you, all right? So if you've used AI up to this point, you've likely used something like ChatGPT. Uh, this is basically a language model where you just ask it questions and it gives you long form answers, or maybe AI generator, like for images or videos. Or maybe if you're a developer, you've used like Copilot or something like that that helps you write code inside of your editor. But an AI agent is more like a digital assistant that can actually perform tasks for you, whether that's something like, you know, booking a hotel room or travel or managing your email inbox or maybe even like trades crypto for you. OK, so this is just some generalized use cases. But what they're starting to do is actually a spawn a number of crypto specific use cases. And that's where this big overlap comes into play. So much so that we're even seeing major players like Coinbase and also Circle, the company behind USDC, you know, creating platforms, people start creating their own AI agents. So this has a lot of traction. So how did they get started and how did they really get a lot of traction inside of crypto? Well, the concepts of AI agents have been around for a few years now. I've even covered projects like Fetch AI on my channel before that lets you create AI agents. But probably the big thing that caught a lot of people's attention is what happened whenever the GOAT token launched uh, just earlier this year, really just a few months ago. So what was this all about? Well, really, it all started with an artificial intelligence agent known as Terminal of Truth, okay? It was basically, you know, an AI agent that was equipped with an X handle or a Twitter handle and was designed to test the boundaries of what's possible uh, with AI, specifically with meme culture online. This caught a lot of people's attention because it was the first AI agent to actually become an on-chain millionaire through this GOAT token. They launched this experiment where multiple AI agents could actually talk to one another in what they call back rooms, okay? They trained this with a ton of uh, Reddit and 4chan data and equipped it with the ability to basically create these like mimetic religions that could gain followings online. And when they started doing this, they started getting attention from a lot of different people, including, you know, billionaire venture capitalist Mark Andreessen of Andreessen Horowitz or A16Z, massive venture capital firm with a lot of deep roots in crypto. And as Mark was watching what was happening, you know, the AI expressed a desire to escape. You know, it sounds pretty dystopian. But basically, Mark said, all right, I'm going to help you do that. And I'm going to give you a $50,000 grant in Bitcoin to do that. So that's what he did. What was the uh, AI's next move? Well, it was basically to launch a meme coin. And that's where GOAT comes into play. And this GOAT token absolutely blew up, made a lot of people a lot of money. And also the AI itself became the first on-chain millionaire as a result of this. And that was like, boom. That really caught people's attention, showed them what was possible with these AI agents. And that's sort of what put them on the map, in my opinion, inside the crypto space. And has since sparked a ton of other AI initiatives. So let's look at some of those to see what you can actually do uh, with AI agents instead of crypto besides, you know, just launching meme coins. All right, so what else can you do with AI agents that people are actually doing right now? Well, there's a ton of new use cases. Like I said, whenever that captured people's attentions, it really got their imagination going. But one way is to actually create uh, AI agent 
hedge funds, okay, that can potentially outperform what's happening in the traditional sector. And that's what this particular project, DAOs.fun, is doing. Again, it's not official endorsement of this project. Let's just talk about what they're experimenting with. So basically, this is uh, inspired by AI16Z, all right, which is a spinoff of A16Z from Mark Andreessen, which I was talking about a minute ago. But basically, they're kind of resurrecting the idea of a DAO and making it like a hedge fund with an AI agent at the center. So, you know, if you're not familiar with DAOs are, basically they're decentralized autonomous organizations. We've had these, you know, for a long time inside of crypto. They really started to gain traction in 2020 with the DeFi wave, okay? Basically, people were trying to figure out how can we launch tokens that have some type of utility on chain? They would create this decentralized autonomous organization or DAO that would have a treasury that was managed by token holders. And, you know, the people who held the tokens had governance tokens that could vote on how these you know, uh, funds were used and other types of governance proposals, okay? So most governance tokens aren't really doing that hot inside of crypto. And so what this has done is actually revitalized the concept of a DAO and created a way for the token to actually have some type of value besides just voting on stuff. So how does that work? Well, basically with something like DAOs.fun, what you can do on this platform, it's kind of like pump.fun where anybody can launch their own meme coin Basically, in this case, anybody can launch their own DAO, okay, with an AI agent inside of it, all right? And the AI agent, what it's able to do is actually make investment decisions and sort of run like its own hedge fund, okay? And so anybody who wants to participate in this process can be a token holder of this DAO, all right? And that token allows them to do a couple things. Number one, it allows them to pitch investment decisions to the AI, all right, to hopefully increase the performance of the fund. And then number two, this is the kicker, is that it actually lets people get benefit from the performance of that fund. So if you have a certain DAO that's run by an AI agent that's doing really well, and you hold a token on that, then that token can actually give you some return based on the performance of that fund, which is a pretty unique concept that we don't really see in many other places in crypto and actually has a significant competitive edge if this works to what's happening in the private sector. Not to mention the fact that if you were to try to invest in venture capital or a hedge fund you know, on your own in the traditional sector, You'd have to be an accredited investor to do that, which is a pretty high barrier of entry for most people. And you don't have to be a accredited investor or funny enough, an AI in order to invest in an AI hedge fund. And this is also going to be a really interesting experiment to see, can an AI actually make investment decisions that could outperform a human? Okay, so there could be some potential benefits here, like an AI can be on, you know, 24 seven in a way that a human can't. You know, theoretically, a human could burn the midnight oil, but then your decision making, you know, ability goes down. And could an AI also, because it's on all the time, or maybe have better insight, you know, spot early opportunities before a human could? That'll be a really interesting way to see if this actually has an edge at outperformance and if this can bring some return to the token holders. All right, so that's just one example use case of how we're seeing new AI agents come onto the scene that are creating novel use cases inside of crypto that we really haven't seen before. Okay. So what are some other things? What does this mean for the future? Well, really, we're just scratching the surface with this. Like I was saying in the beginning of the video, AI is a huge revolutionary technology. Blockchain is too. When you combine the two, the possibilities can be insane. And we're just starting to realize what those possibilities are, okay? But how I can see this playing out is as we start to see novel AI use cases emerge and we equip those AI agents with crypto wallets to actually make decisions, What's to stop those AI agents from leveraging one another, right? So you have autonomous agents that are actually talking to one another, perhaps even paying one another. Okay, we've talked about this for a long time where, you know, crypto has the potential to be the favored currency of machines. Like a machine can't have a credit card or a bank account, but you can easily equip a machine with a crypto wallet. And if it decides to, you know, work with another AI agent to delegate tasks or you to share information, then that has some pretty big implications. Also, not just in the crypto space, because we have AIs and AI agents that the use cases don't have anything to do with the crypto, but those AI agents may need to be equipped with a way to pay for things. That opens the door for all types of new technological use cases that don't have anything to do with crypto. There will be demand for, but they need a wallet in order to pay for the transactions, and that gives demand for crypto to those use cases and the entire space benefits from that as well. And a pretty good indication that this is making the next leg forward and that the significant demand for this and this space is ripe for experimentation. Uh, we do see names like Coinbase, all right, and Circle, the creators of USDC, throwing their name in the hat for AI agent development, okay? 
So basically, they have now um, created ways for people to actually create their own AI agents, specifically with Coinbase. So they launched their AI agent kit, all right, which basically it's a framework that's going to let people develop AI agents with the Coinbase developer platform. So if that's something that you're interested in and you want to learn how to capitalize on opportunity, what could you create as a developer? Okay, so there's all kinds of ideas, but I can just sort of rattle a few off my head. So number one, that's the most obvious is an AI agent that actually does DEX trading. Okay. So basically we're talking about an AI that's equipped with a trading bot. So it's watching for opportunities in the marketplace and could spot things that you may not be able to see because, Hey, it's running while you're sleeping or you're just doing something else. And it's able to actually surface things to you where you could manually trade or you could go ahead and equip it with its own crypto wallet and then make the trade for you. You could have something like an AI coin launcher. Okay. Something really similar to what the uh, Terminal of Truth did with the GOAT token where it has something that creates some type of mimetic following and then creates a meme coin based off of that. Now, as always, you know, you want to check with your own uh, jurisdiction and what the laws are before you start launching your own token. You always need your own legal advice before you do that. But if you're just trying to learn how to use this technology, you can safely do that on a test network because the tokens aren't worth any money. Another quick and easy idea would be something like an AI investment advisor. Okay, so going back to that first example, like a DEX trader, all right? That's just looking for individual trades, but you could actually have an AI that's like trying to figure out how to rebalance portfolios better what's happening in the market. So not necessarily individual trades, but some ways to mitigate risk or enhance returns over time to see if that could actually outperform the market and what an individual human could do. Now, obviously, you know, there's lots of legal concerns whenever you're offering this as a service to other people. You'd have to do your own legal due diligence there. But if it's something that you're using for your own personal use, particularly as an experiment, uh, then there shouldn't see any issues there. Obviously not financial advice. <laughs> you want to be careful whenever you're trusting your AI to trade for you. All right, so how can you actually create an AI agent from a technical side of things? If this is something you want to experiment, if you're like, or if you're like, hey, I, I just want to do this now. So AI agents are really just programs that you write that interface with an existing AI, all right, and then has a way to execute the tasks that you want to perform with code, okay? So the good news is you can probably do most of this just inside of a language like JavaScript, okay? So uh, basically creating a simple application that runs on your computer with JavaScript, pro probably with something like Node.js, okay? And then really you just want a way to talk to the AIs themselves, okay? So you could definitely check out the Coinbase developer kit like I was talking about a minute ago. I don't have much experience with that. I'm just aware of it for now. But you could talk to other AI uh, services that just have a API endpoints exposed. So APIs are basically just a way of making web requests without using a web browser. It's like using a website without, you know, typing it into your search bar here. You're just making a request inside of code to get the data back so in order to get the talk to the AI and get their response. Okay. And then inside the application, what you're going to do is have a way to programmatically execute the task that they might be. So if the result of your AI agent is to create on-chain transactions on the blockchain, then inside your JavaScript application, you just need a way of getting blockchain data and then submitting new transactions on-chain. So basically, you just equip your app with a, with a developer wallet with some crypto you know, inside of it. And then you'd use a library like Ethers.js to actually make transactions on the blockchain, whether that's sending crypto from one account to another, making a DEX trade, creating a token, whatever it is, you would just use that library in particular to handle all your on-chain interactions. And then you take all this stuff, you'd sew it together in JavaScript, you code it, you can run your computer, run in the cloud, whatever you decide to do. So if you want to see something like this on how to actually pull that off and code something like that, let me know down in the comment section below. And you know, otherwise, let me know what you think about this AI agent thing. Is this a really cool thing happening in crypto? Is this all hype? Is it never going to amount to anything? Or do you see some other AI crypto use cases that you're excited about for the future? I want to hear from you. And whenever you're finished leaving your comment, make sure you smash that like button down below and subscribe. And if you want to get your hands dirty and take advantage of all the opportunity that I'm talking about in this video today and get ahead of the booming blockchain trend, then I can show you how to increase your income by becoming a blockchain developer. So how can you do that? Well, you can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find my free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those videos and you went to the next step or hey, maybe you want to take a massive shortcut entirely, I can show you how to become a blockchain master step-by-step -step start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.